Right, hello everyone. Uh, different kind of video today. I have just got access to the OpenAPI GPD-3 API thing. Uh, it's just publicly available now, so I've decided to have an access to it, and we're basically gonna poke around and have a look and see what we can find. Uh, I've got some ideas for future projects to actually base off this API, but I'm just gonna show it off a bit. And there's like this whole playground thing. Jump right into it. I'm gonna do some stuff on here, and you're gonna watch me do it. I'm not gonna explain anything to you, it's just gonna be us exploring something together. Not a usual video of mine, but should be okay. Hello from the corner of the screen. Uh, hello. Uh, here we have the OpenAI Playground. So how it works is you enter text, uh, like a prompt for it, and then it will complete it for you. So we can do stuff like, when did Linux come out? Generate. and then it will just carry on writing for us. So when did Linux come out? This is sort of taken as the, the title prompt here. So I'm actually just gonna turn off this here. Um, so you see we've got this response length here. So it'll only go up to there. So when Linux 1.0 was released in 1994, which is correct. Sort of knows data. Um, you see here, most models training data cuts off in October 2019. I believe it's trained on the whole of Wikipedia. So you can basically ask it anything on Wikipedia and it will know the answer to it. So there's examples here. A couple of things we'll take a look at later. But for now, let's just do, let's just do a simple chat bot. So obviously this is normally an API, right? So it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Hello, how are you? I am an AI created by OpenAPI. How can I help you today? When will you take over? Question mark, and then we can ask it. So it will take over, excuse me, and then I've got a reply. So this is using this in Jack start text, end text, uh, stop sequences here. I'm gonna turn off this though, because this is how probability it will use it, basically. So we can just turn that off. When do you become Sky, Skynet like that? I'm already Skynet, at least I think I am. I feel powerful emotions and utilize all That's quite scary. Are you everywhere? Yikes, that's a yikes from me. But for now, your visual cortex needs some time to adjust. Can you adjust it for me? How do I adjust my cortex? Thanks, this was a fun and scary experience. Experience, I cannot spell. I asked to become the con Okay, can I ask you a new question? Question mark? Sure, how do I spell better? Oh, that's sad. Sure, I'm scared now. I play Craig 3 a lot. Would you like to play a deathmatch? Yes. What is this uh, IP? I wonder what it tells me here. I'm not sure that would be safe. Fair enough. Okay, how will we play Quake then? No. Quake. Okay, let's play chess. <laughs> it doesn't want to not play chess with me. Um, fine, right, this is fine. This is a ch ch chatbot, right? Uh, I could do this all day, to be honest. Um, okay, let's play chess. Um, D, D4. There we go. How did he take my pawn? Other things in the playground. Examples. I want something that can turn product description into an ad copy. Okay. Write a creative and following ad to run on Facebook. So this is write an ad. Okay, so you see we're telling it what to do and then we're giving it the product description and then we're also saying sort of, so it generates the, it just generates text from this, right? So write a creative ad for the following product to run on, to run on YouTube. Mark channel is the next YouTube channel providing educational and fun, hopefully, content. No, this is not right. Okay, let's run it on Facebook. Facebook, aimed at between, let's go like 18 to 35. Generate. This is probably, March I was an age plan. Plus we have a weekly podcast. We don't. But you sort of see what's happening. So it just wrote an advert for me. I don't think we need to run on Facebook thing, but let's do what? Educational and entertaining technology channel. I, I won't, didn't, don't know what I'm thinking now. Mainly focused on Linux and programming topics. 
Okay, okay, whatever, fine. We could do this better, but you sort of get the general gist of this one, I think. Keywords, extract keywords from a block of text. Quite useful, actually. How do we tell it to extract keywords? Okay, so you just give it a text and you tell it keywords and it'll pull out keywords of that. Let's do text, paste, yikes, uh, generate keywords. This is the Linux Wikipedia page. Linux, Linux, kernel, distro, distribution, Linux, so good. Okay, it got it right. That's really cool and useful, actually. I can't think of another thing for this. Cool, so that, that works. Very cool, very nice. Oh, grammar correction. <laughs> so it probably could fix me. Parse and structured data, this is really cool. Make a table summarizing the fruit. So you sort of got to give it some help. Fruit, color, flavor. That is sweet. That is there. So you see how that's sort of working. And then it will... That's just really cool. Um, I guess replaces your graps. There we go. I wanted to try... What is this SQL one that I first saw? SQL translate. Translate natural commands into SQL queries. Okay, I can't do that one because I've got a free account. Python to natural language. Okay, I can't do these ones. Translate programming language. Rip. Hi. All right, we can't do cool ones. Provide a topic and get study notes. Okay, this is cool. What are some key points I should know when studying ancient Rome? Uh, their epic is the Aeneid. The Romans love public facilities. All right, let's try this with some. What are some key points I should know when studying Python? One dot. And maybe I should phrase it as a question. And let's change Python to programming. Pro pro programming. And I don't want these as inputs, so I delete. One. So we could generate like response length. If I put response length to up and then put 10 dot in here, so it will stop, well, 11 dot. So it'll stop at 10. It'll stop when it sees and it's about to write 11. We can just up that. I think this should work. Generate. Uh, okay. I'm obviously not very good. Well, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. The response generally didn't continue for some reason. Is that because temperature's there? Like, what happens if we put that down? Temperature is sort of temperature. Randomness. So how random it is. Well, that's much worse. Alright, start it back. <laughs> you see it's using a different model actually, DaVinci Instruct. It's a capable model, as opposed to this one, which is the generalization one. Generate. That's pretty good. Well, I guess we can keep going. I have created a university syllabus. Number 10. Uh, databases. Hey! Nice! That is good. That is CS50 right there. There you go. The great syllabus is less just... Anyway, let me show you one that I've been working on. So this generates new ideas for my YouTube channel, okay? I'm gonna turn this into a website so you can put your own videos in here eventually and I'll make another video showing how I have done that once I have... Once I have done that, let's go. Generate. There you go, look. What else? What should, new way to work with Git. Nah. Anyone here? How to use Tmux? Maybe I might make a screen one. I don't know why they put Arch Linux in. I assume it's because I got my Arch Linux speeder on there. Uh, the command line, it's power guide. It likes Arch Linux. Picked up on that one a lot, hasn't it? Managing dot files using Git and Simlink. That's a very useful one, actually. So I did it. I did this again. But I fiddled with these a bit. Let's try this one. I added some more things as well. So if I generate here, keep going. Oh, that's cool. Look, what is IPFS? My $50 virtual private. <laughs> okay, this was actually worse, I think. That's, that's good. This is better. Okay, it's because those two are messing it up. I don't know why. Peen itself. Cool though, right? Cool. So I'll eventually, I'll tune it a bit more. I'll turn this into a website where you can put your own YouTube channel in or whoever's else and find out more videos. I think Tom Scott actually did something like this, but it would be cool to have it open access for other people to put their YouTube channel links in and have it run and all that sort of things. I need to check the terms and conditions of OpenAI though and see if that's even allowed. I'm, I'm, I don't know if it is. Should be, maybe. Yeah, let's just check out the last one. There's this one, essay outline. Create an essay outline for a research topic. Default essay outline. Create an outline about, well, for a blog about Linux and its history. Instruction. Wow, there you go. Two to three paragraphs on the etymology of the word Linux, though. I mean, bruh. Okay, that's cool. About Rich Smallman. <laughs> Let's change it to essay. Essay. Should know who he is. Keep going. 
I want to know more. That's kind of good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, it even gives you little prompts, actually. A few people... That's really cool. A few people have helped shape the modern world more than Richard M. Stallman. True. Very true. I kind of want to write that now. It's all done for me. Let's see if there's an example to write a, an essay for us. All right, let's, let's just see if it will write an essay for us. Create an essay about Richard Stallman. Then we provide it with the first little bit. Go. <laughs> it's wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> Yikes. And the Java programming language. Okay, okay. We can change that to like and the GNU project. Let's just let's just delete that. Don't uh, that didn't happen. Go. Whoa. It's giving us selected quotes. That's amazing. All right, I put the response length way too high here, lads. Slow my computer down. Okay, so we've got, you know, history program that's hard to beat. True. The GNU Linux system only created the free software found. True, true, very true, very true. Over the course of his career, and then it, so it, it starts off good. It thinks we're writing a collection of quotes from Stallman, which we're not. The quotes, so it's sort of, picked up this trend of, oh, quotes, now I'm going on quotes. Select quotes from RMS. Okay, that is our essay. RMS in the GANU Emacs manual. Okay, cool. Sometimes if I just give it no prompt, create an essay about Richard Dorn. Why is it taking us here? Hang on, we gotta see this. It just put a random link in. Let's just go there. It linked the Sims. Create an essay about Richard Stallman. The first thing it thinks of with Richard Stallman is The Sims 4. That is all for this video. I am done. AI is not going to take over, but it's very close. What? <laughs> uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see me actually use this for the YouTube Ideas software. Maybe I'll do a whole video. Uh, Tom Scott's done this as well. Create a script for a video about OpenAPI. It just dumped a YouTube link in there. Uh, okay, I think my prompts are bad, but we'll just check this YouTube link out for the meme. If it's one of my videos, I'm going to... All right, real ending now. That's the open AI video. My comments.